Hey everybody, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, we're going to go over a diagonal put spread option strategy. We're going to talk about how do you set it up, what is the objective, and what are the risks of this strategy. And we're going to use SPY in this example. I'm going to scroll down to the SPY options chain, and we're going to set up the strategy from the options chain. And then we're going to run a payout diagram and talk about the strategy. So the diagonal put spread has two legs. First leg, we're going to go out to a further out month. And I'm going to use in this example, November 17th on the options chain. And you can see the stock is currently trading around $436.45. And this expiration has 27 trading days to go, 37 calendar days. And we're going to go and get first buy and out of the money put spread. So the stock is around 436. Let's go to the 431 strike. I'm going to come over here, click on the ask, and this brings up a buy November 17th, 431 put, as you can see here, for $5.15. The second leg, we have to go to a different expiration and in this case we're going to go to a more near-term expiration so i'm going to come back here and let's choose october 20th so this option will expire earlier than the november and you can see here it has seven trading days to go nine calendar days and we're going to buy a put on a i'm sorry we're going to sell a put do the opposite on a different strike so since we have it on the 431 strike in this example, let's go to a strike that's below 431. Let's say we go to the uh, 426 strike, and then we're going to sell this put. I'm going to click on that, and now you could see there are two links to the strategy. Buying the further out November 17th put on the 431 strike, and then selling the October 426 put which will expire earlier on the four, I'm sorry, on the 426 strike for 98 cents. And now we're gonna run this strategy to see what the payout diagram looks like. So this is what the payout diagram looks like on October 20th expiration. Because keep in mind this November 17th put, that will not expire on the same expiration that will still have time value and more days to go. So over here, we could see that the stock price currently is right over here, 436. And this put spread looks like it has a bearish buy. So as we get closer to this strike, the 426, right, the short strike, that's where our sweet spot is. Because if it's right at the 426 strike, then the October 20th put will expire worthless. So we get to keep whatever we sold that for. And at that point, this 431 put will be in the money. So our sweet spot is if October 20th. It expires exactly at that 426 or a little bit above. So that put expires worthless. Um, but as you can see here, if it continues to go down, and here let's expand the range. So you can see here, if it could continues to go down, this put spread will still be profitable because the difference in the strikes here, right? We have $5, the difference in the strikes, but we are buying it below $5, 417. So if it just continues going down, you will make the difference at least between the two strikes. Um, on the way up, that's where our risk is because if both of these puts eventually expire worthless, we lose that initial debit that we paid for it. Another thing to keep in mind, we are short delta, as we can see here from, from this uh, payout diagram. Uh, we are long Vega. And the reason for that is because the longer dated option has more Vega, right? The further out you go, the, the larger the Vega is and the closer the option is to the strike price, the higher the Vega. So here we are long Vega. We want implied volatility to move up. And 
the stock to drift lower to the 426 strike. So let's let's just test that out and let's see how this will change if implied volatility goes up. And I'm gonna I'm gonna change these implied vols. We're gonna just click on here to increase the implied vols. So you can see they're gonna be changing over here. I'm gonna increase them. Now that we increased it, I'm going to recalculate and we should see this peak change. Let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. You see how much more profitable it will be if implied volatility increases. So hopefully everyone, this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video.